You didn't come down the lawn, you went around the side, huh? I went down the lawn. You came down the lawn? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Let me tell you all in a moment. dress again I wore it yesterday but I didn't get any photos in it and I literally just like walked to the kitchen to Cocina del Mar and then I walked back because I couldn't like plug in my laptop and then I was just in class like wearing this for like a little bit um, only for like an hour until break time so yeah I'm just gonna wear this for photos today and I'm also gonna wear my white my white little heels just because I really like how it looks together those are like my favorite shoes right now so yeah, I'm just gonna wear that, but I have to like do my makeup. Not really like do it over, but I just have to like do some touch-ups just because like I was kind of in a rush this morning. So I'm gonna see, I think it looks pretty good actually for me just doing it in like 10 minutes. Just gonna add some bronzer. Yeah, I just didn't really like bronze or anything. So I'm just gonna do that right now. You guys, I saw a cat yesterday. It was super, super cute. I wanted to film like a day in my life yesterday, but I honestly don't know like how I'm gonna put the video. I'm using Kat Von D. Yeah, I like don't really know how I'm gonna like put the video or like how I'm gonna do these vlogs because I feel like I'm like, I'm confused. So I don't even know like what to do, but I still have so many vlogs that I have to post before. So I should get those done before. And then Laura Mercier. Um, honey powder Honey is perfect for my skin tone and in NARS foundation. I'm a little bit darker than this one, but this is Syracuse I think I need to go like one shade darker like Tahoe That looks good. And then I'm also gonna do Just like on the side of my nose a bit And then I already did blush this morning I'm just gonna do some highlighter and then I always curl my hair. Like if I don't curl my hair, then I just don't like the way that it looks. So this highlighter is life. So I'm just gonna put some on. And then I wanna fix my brows just a bit. I'm just using um, Brow Wiz and Ebony. That's that. And then just a little bit of shadow. You can't really see the eyeshadow in my photos, but I think it makes just like a tiny, tiny difference. And then I've just been using the Bronze Goddess um, bronzer. For like a wash of color and my double eyelid is gone so i didn't even bring my eyelid tape i thought i didn't need it but i guess i do um tragic really tragic so i didn't bring my uh, my double eyelid tape and not like my eyes just look like way smaller i still want to get eyelid surgery but korea please open back up <laughs> I would only get it done there. I think it's it's like only two thousand dollars or something like that. So, and they do it like in and out, in and out. So I would feel comfortable. Kylie liner. Yeah, it's like way better. So it's the Kylie liner. I think I like neutral light. That's neutral. Okay, and then I'm gonna put Natasha Denona. This is like my daytime, daytime eyeshadow. I'm like waiting for someone to block me on Instagram. I don't know why. I'm just, <laughs> I just like do the thing. I block people on Instagram like every day. And it's not even like, it takes like a second, maybe 
be like two seconds to like click on their page. It's not very fun for me, but whatever. Okay, my lip combo, and then I'm just gonna do take the brush. My lashes it still look so good. Like they look pretty full for what they are and for everything that I've done, but or you know, like one of these days they're all just gonna fall off. All at the same time. There was one. That's that. And then I'm just gonna take my Bare Minerals powder. Just knock it off. I didn't really do much to my under eyes. I only put on one concealer and that was the Tarte Shape Tape. So I kind of, kind of wish I did my under eyes properly, but I was in a rush this morning, so. Okay, that's good enough for me. Oh, these are truly like my favorite, oops. These are truly my favorite foundations for vacation and I mix them with the NARS. Just amazing. 15 minutes to curl my hair, but I have to blow dry it first. So let's go and do that. Wow, I love the lighting in here. I think I'm gonna do a makeup removal. Um, I'm gonna put on some hair cream. This is R & Co. It smells super yummy. Um, you have to make sure not to use a lot though because it can weigh down your hair just a bit. It's a little thick. And then I like to just brush out the ends really quickly. I didn't wash my hair yesterday, but it's okay. I prefer to curl my hair on like second day hair, but sometimes I just don't really have a choice. to go to the spa but a massage is like a massage is i'm not even kidding you it's like 400 dollars <gasps> like do i really want to do it 400 dollars i could get like a mini pochette <laughs> i don't know i kind of feel like it's a waste but it's so nice to like just be able to go and like relax and stuff but yeah 400 dollars that is a pretty penny <laughs> Like, you know, some people are like, oh, it's a billionaire, it's like $400 is like, uh, like $4 or like four cents or something like that. And I'm like, well, for me, 400 is 400. <laughs> I don't know. I think as long as I get like good photos, like at the pool and stuff, I'll be okay. <laughs> I mean, the spa there is beautiful. So I'll just relive vicariously in my own footage. I also, I also really love putting in the volume spray. This one's really nice. It makes your hair smell super yummy as well. Just put a little bit in the front. I kind of want to buy like whey products just cause like it's aesthetic, but <laughs> I don't really use a lot of hair products. Like lately I have been, but there are days where I'll just like dry my hair off, just leave the house. Usually if I'm meeting someone for the first time, I like to have curly hair because it's like what I have most of the time, like in most of my photos. So yeah. so please don't pay attention to that but um oh, i'm like so hot right now i walked down to the pool it was just too hot it was like 80 degrees plus 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 like it just felt too hot so i just came back to the room i wanted to do some product shots i'll show you guys what i had here i brought my toiletry um so i can do some with my toiletry because i actually have not done that believe it or not so i brought my toiletry and then i also brought my whey products some of like my favorite hair care products. Um, I wanted to do that. And then I also brought some jewelry in here that I have to shoot. 
so I'll probably do that later um like later later like I don't know like in two three hours because the sun is just way too strong right now so and plus like when you're oh sorry you guys are crooked um plus like when you're filming the sun is like straight coming straight down and that's not like the ideal that's not the ideal lighting that you want you want to have it at an angle just so you're able to kind of manipulate the light a bit and it just like does not look good and then especially if i'm filming like uh body shots like of the dress because i wanted to shoot the dress it's just like the shadow like straight down on your face and then my lashes will create like a shadow here and um it just like doesn't look good at all like for photos so i'm just gonna wait a little bit later just some tips in case you guys are wondering i decided to just go ahead and do some homework because i have some free time right now i guess like right now um i'll just go ahead and do that and then later when it's time to shoot i'll go ahead and go down to the pool to go and do that oh my face looks like super slim huh? um i think it's just because of my digestive enzymes you guys like they changed my life and i'm just so grateful to have i honestly do not even know where i where i found those from like i don't know how i discovered them but truly amazing and like life-changing um i have not gained any weight i i told you guys that i weigh 58 kilograms which is not like ideal but i do want to lose some weight so i'm hoping that i can just get like lower and lower but obviously i do have to work out so i plan on doing like i plan on hiking every day i also want to do my peloton every day i also want to do chloe ting's workout every day and eat healthier and so i'm really gonna try to like change my lifestyle and just be a lot more like health conscious and like not eat as much junk food even though i know like just taking the digestive enzymes will help immediately but i just want to like make a difference and just like feel better with my body especially with like the new year coming i don't want to wait for the new year to do that i kind of just like want to do it now um so yeah those are just like some things that i want to do and i kind of just want to put it out into the universe um, and hopefully i can get it all done but obviously it does take like a lot of um a lot of strength so yeah um, but anyway, let me just go ahead and do my homework because I don't really know like what else I would what else to do right now. I'm using my nano speed and my other headphone in here. Okay, so I love like doing my homework because I can listen to music at the same time. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do my homework and I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. So I wanted to tell you guys about my two most used bags here. This one I got from a wedding. It was like a party favor and it was filled with like just a bunch of stuff. But this is the brand here. I'm sure you guys can just like buy them. TBF. And then I'm also using my Toiletry 19 like crazy. And then also the Nano Speedy because it's like the only bag that I really brought with me. And then I also brought my Neverfull, but that's actually like my travel bag. So I'll do like a quick like what's in my travel bag before I leave, um, like on the day that um, I'm leaving. So I just love this thing so much. It's just so functional. And then I basically only use this for breakfast though. And then after I'm done with breakfast, I would just switch everything that's like in here and I'll just like put it all in here. And so yeah, I just have a bunch of fives just for tips because I like using the golf cart to come to my room just because it's a little far from like everything else. This is like the furthest room. It's like number 43. So yeah, like you can see the pool. The pool is like way over there, so like you have to go across the lawn. So yeah, I'm a lazy bitch. Well, and then that's pretty much it for my Nano Speedy. And then I just kind of put her away. And the toiletry just becomes like my couch. And I just have like little miscellaneous things in there. And then um, I think I'll bring my body oil. I don't need any of that. I need to bring this. This was his birthday dinner and I treated him to Toro, which is the restaurant in Esperanza. So we got a reservation on this day, which was really lucky because they were really busy around this time. So this is the smoked corn soup. And then we also got some steak and I think he got some tacos as well. But everything was really delicious. I really love this restaurant and you can just sit like where the bar is if you don't have a reservation, which is actually what we did. And like I said, the food was really good. They had like a chimichurri sauce on the side and everything was cooked to perfection. This is one of my favorite restaurants as well and then the truffle fries were so delicious i literally had to move everything in here like with my tripods back inside um that tripod is like the best seriously i have so much to clean like i have to hang up my clothes um and then like i will i don't know what i'll do like i want room service but it's like so freaking hot right now like i just don't even want to leave the room and i like this room because the ac actually stays on when the doors are open so i might just hop in the little pool that i have there and yeah but look you guys i want to show you the butter like i was literally outside taking photos for like no less than 10 minutes 
um, and that's what happened. Like the butter just completely melted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to enjoy my food because I got an iced coffee, but all I can taste is freaking milk. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put another shot in here. Okay, so I'm gonna eat. I've been watching. Okay, you guys have to watch Was It Love on Netflix. So I finished watching that whole series in like one day. And then right now I'm just watching Love Alarm. It's like super cute, but it's like so sad. <laughs> Good morning. I just had to film a video for Melody Susie and I wasn't really hungry this morning So I didn't get breakfast, but this is my outfit for today. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do photos um, Later, I'm not really sure like what dress to wear. I have a red one But I realized I don't really like how red looks on my theme like for my Instagram theme So I'm trying to figure out like what to do, but I love this dress so much It is so cute and it has like this little detail here and it was a little pricey on princess Polly I would say like more on the I think it was probably 60 bucks but you do get like 20% off and that's what it looks like and then I'm just wearing my yes style flats or um, I'm just wearing my yes style heels and I absolutely love these so much I've gotten so much use out of them which I'm like really happy with because I honestly wasn't sure how often I was going to be wearing them but I just love them so much so so that is my outfit I have a video to edit but I think I'm just going to do that um I don't know i would prefer to do it like today because i'm not really doing much and i don't really like i don't know i'm not like a pool person like i don't like sitting in the pool or like just being in the pool and like not doing anything like i get really bad anxiety when i'm just like sitting around i don't know if anyone else is like that but i am the worst like i cannot just sit around and not do anything um so i'm probably just gonna bring my laptop and try to do like rough edits really quickly and i don't know i kind of want like some stick nachos or something um but yeah today's my last day here in mexico so really excited to go home i feel like a week is definitely too long um well i think a week is perfect but i was here like four days before so like a week and a half or a little over a week and a half and that was just a little bit too long for me even though the hotel that i stayed at was beautiful like i stayed at like two of the most popular hotels like palmia and then esperanza and palmia is just beautiful um like of course i love it but i just I don't know i wanted a bathtub photo as well so i might do that later i'm just like going off on a tangent but yeah i stayed at like two of like the top hotels and i love them so much like las ventanas and petrical is also really like great but those are like those are like a step up i would say from i don't know las ventanas is like a little bit more expensive than palmia and then i feel like petrical is probably like the most expensive but it's in like a really shitty area and like in the boonies so i wouldn't go over there um so that's like completely out of it but yeah las ventanas is probably one of the most expensive ones um, i'm not even include i'm not gonna include petrical because the way to go into petrical is just so shitty like why would you even stay there because the entrance is like so jank but i love um las ventanas is beautiful but i just feel like it's a lot of like older people so i i mean i i don't know like they're all old people right <laughs> but i don't know i just feel like this one was a little bit more like my vibe so i might do photos later i'm gonna like walk around and see where i could like take some photos but i really like don't know what i'm doing right now like i feel like i should get ready and like take some photos but i don't know we'll see we'll see <laughs> So happy to be finally going home so this is the 11th day so i guess i was in couple for 11 days some of the days i didn't vlog because i was crying and we did argue a lot on the trip as well and this was kind of to try and like fix the relationship in a way but it just didn't end up working out and at this point it just kind of went downhill so I'm okay with how everything kind of panned out. It was a really fun trip. The trip was super relaxing. Um, the employees at the hotel were amazing, incredible. The food was so good every day. I got like the same thing and yeah, and that was the end. And then I don't know why I looked at it, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this series and hopefully I will have a New York series up soon.